Hey guys, welcome to Double EXP. I'm Nath. And I'm Trace. And this is a special. Where it is we, a special. Where we're talking about Stranger Things. The show, which is kind of different. This is just kind yeah, of different never, from... we've never done this before. Yeah, and I know you've wanted to yeah. for, like, all kinds of shows and animes and yeah. just anything, really. But, so, but we, we're... I want to say first that the reason we are doing this yeah. is because we got a request from a fan named Freebird, and we wanted to make this because... We like doing things for our peeps that watch <laughs> us, right? Yeah. And I, other people had also talked about it, too. Yeah, and we also, but, we have ideas and thoughts about the show. Yeah, so we're so, like, you know, and and one of the biggest reasons is we can do this because we left a day open for specials. So exactly. it's like super chill to just be able to do a special now. Yeah. So awesome, awesome. Um, you All want, right. You want to so kick it off? Let's kick it off let's with it off. the big question. All right. It's not actually that big a question. What do you think <laughs> oh. uh, of the season as a total in general? Overall. Overall. No, <clears throat> not, not like specific details. Yeah, no specifics. Just what do so, you think? I thought it was a Netflix original. And what I mean by mm. that is I haven't really been disappointed with a Netflix original yet. I haven't yeah. watched all of them, but every one that I have watched has been like yeah. quality it's been good i agree, you I know? agree. so um i i will say that i don't think it's top tier netflix yeah. original it was yeah. good yeah it was good i i give it like a seven seven point five like if i had to give it a number yeah like i feel like some people hyped it up more than yeah. that i would give i would i would say t top place was daredevil season oh, one yeah. daredevil season one specifically specifically top top place but I agree so, with that. But then there's like still things above this mm -hmm. when like before, you know? But I would say like it's definitely like I don't know, I'd say third probably, yeah. honestly. I can, so, I can agree with that. Probably third. It was really good. Yeah. Um but it was just quality overall. Um they let they did a good job on keeping things like I guess vague and secret. Um They they played didn't, they played the themes of like suspense and um and of like keeping, like keeping you expecting something, and yeah. then like most of the time nothing happened. But like they played it really <laughs> and then, well. And then like referencing other things, mm -hmm. and oh, like the the timeline, the age that they were in. I mm -hmm. feel like they did a great job I of agree. pulling off that time era. You know, there, um, there were some there were some discrepancies. Like if were. you're actual fans of things, like you you know that there are discrepancies. Yeah. Um, but we'll get to that when we get to the part yeah. where we're talking about. Details. We, details we didn't like. But I feel like we've covered, unless you've yeah. got anything more to say on overall. No, overall I, mean, I think overall good. was good. I recommend it. I'd recommend um, it too. It's only eight episodes, so even like... Yeah, and that's one of the easy things is that you can recommend it. Yeah. And be like, look, you just got to find one day yeah. <laughs> that you can watch it and you can literally watch it all. So I will say that for me, uh, the first and last episode were the strong points, mm -hmm. like in general. Yeah. I mean, I could, I could agree with that. I feel like... In the middle, there wasn't there wasn't points where I was like, I don't really want to watch the next episode. There yeah. was always no. like kind of a keeping you there. Yeah, I felt the drive to keep going. Yeah, but there were definitely like there. I feel like it's almost impossible to have a show that like every moment is just neat and amazing. Yeah. It's like sometimes you just gotta have yeah. parts that weren't like. Oh, like a whole episode that's just like full of something crazy. Mm -hmm. So, um, show some shows do that well, but it, it is really hard. But um, they definitely had material and content. Uh, I've I've seen that they said that there was a lot of um, content already written beforehand, yeah. mm -hmm. and like they already had like season two and I think enough material for season three before season one was even finished. That's good. So they have stuff. Yeah. Um, so it wasn't like they were like, oh, crap, what can we do for this? You know, they yeah. had a plan, and they, it was all mm -hmm. laid out. So, but uh, what was, the, what was the next thing? Let's break into the specifics of, like, what we thought they really did well. All right. And then we'll break into the specifics of what we did, like, what we think they didn't do well, right. or that they could have done better. I'm going to say first... I think they did amazing on soundtrack. Yes. I've heard Just, that unanimous, unanimously from everyone it's that like, I've heard it's like, like, talk about it is Stranger Things soundtrack. If if you looked like at at this little thing that they built, all the little parts where it was like nailed together, mm -hmm. they nailed it. Oh. All of them. Ooh. It was like 
they nailed it right no, on yeah, the head, but I think, everywhere. I think, like, even, like, the, the <clears throat> intro, like, it was super simple. It was really good. Mm-hmm. Um, like, the outros to every episode were yeah. fantastic. But even, well, like... The intro, did you... It was, like, it was like 80s-style, yeah. like, look. And yeah. it was just... I don't know. That was cool. But even, like, the suspenseful or mm-hmm. tense music was very on point. Mm-hmm. All the, I, I think they did all the tense moments, like, perfectly. Yeah, they really did. It was uh, fantastic. Yeah, but they made it have that kind of, like... I don't know, like alien monstery feel with mm-hmm. the music and all that junk too. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know, it was just really good. Um, well, well, and then the other thing I was gonna say was how did how did you feel about actors in general? Because I know something about actors. I'll I'll say what I thought was good with the actors first. Okay. For for this little section. All right. I think that the kid actors did an amazing job. Yeah. Every single one. Mm-hmm. Uh, they picked, I don't know if they had good coaches on set or if they just picked a really good, like, cast. But, like, all the kids did a fantastic job. And I think all the, uh, all the main, like, the an- the protagonist adults did a good job. Yeah. So, what, what I was going to say was all those actors, they had ideas in their mind from other shows or movies or whatever Mm -hmm. that they wanted these kids to kind of be like. And so they did, they had so many for each different one. They interviewed, I don't even know how many kids, like they had them try out and they picked them based off of how like many of those things that they like had and could do. And then whenever they were recording, they were like, hey, just pretend to be this person. Like, for oh. L, uh, for Eleven, they, uh-huh. they were saying, like, uh, look at this part. They were like, look like Mad Max, like, whatever, for, like, oh, all I these see. different I things. See. So they would be like, uh, I think, it, in fact, she had to cut off her hair and their parents were freaking out. Yeah. They were like, you're going to look like her. You're going to look super. She's like, am I going to look bad, A? They were like, yeah. She's like, all right, <laughs> cut it. <laughs> you know, they, they gave them those, like, references to, like, mm-hmm. this is what we want you to look like. And this is what how we want you to act, things like that. And so um, that's, I, th- I think, that I feel like they made that, d- doing that made it just great. They did great on the, picking those actors. And I think out of all the kids, I think Eleven pulled off her role like the best yeah like she she, played that like weird yeah like kid really well yeah it was really good yeah Uh, like i was really surprised how like how stuck to it she was i couldn't even believe or like i couldn't even begin to think of like how i would act like a kid that's been like trapped in a room all of their life i loved all the like I think what really sold it for me is like when she kept asking about words that she didn't know. Yeah. I think that really sold it really well. And she was like really like whenever she did talk, it was like very little for like a while. It Mm -hmm. was like very little, like couple things, you know, and it wasn't like, uh, I don't know. I've seen that port like portrayed well where like, you know how we were talking in like, in like Mass Effect where it's like, why is it always the most important words that mm-hmm. you hear? And it's like in Banner Saga when we were playing, when the horse people, they were like, I don't know, they were like just, they, they were doing the same thing, yeah. but it just wasn't near as good. Yeah. Like the things she was saying, I felt like were more like someone who didn't actually know the language, like know how to talk, you know, yeah. uh, would do it. So I felt like that was really good too. She did a fantastic job. Yeah. I think she was the strongest point. <laughs> like, like of yeah. all the actors, like mm-hmm. she she did the best. She um, need, she needs she needs more stuff. <laughs> she, <laughs> yeah. she did a good job. I want to yeah. see her like do more things in the future. Yeah, I feel like the kids really were the, like the shining points, mm-hmm. but I don't think the adults did either. Uh, like a, a terrible job either. I I never had a point where I was like like cringing at the acting. Yeah. To me, I I never had a, a, yeah. any points like that. So. I, I didn't have a point where I was cringing at the acting, but I thought the teenagers were the worst actors of the show. Yeah, probably. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I could I could probably agree with that. Yeah. The adults were were better for one and then two like they had kind of harder things to do than the te- uh, than the teenagers. Mm-hmm. The uh, like trying to be like the mom that lost her son. She did and that was, really like, well. Doing that. It, was, it was pretty good. It was pretty good, right? It was pretty good. And then the sheriff, like oh Hopper was fantastic. Hopper too. was great. Yeah. Like I don't I, know. Just I will great. say that I thought like like I guess we don't really know much about the uh, what did did we even hear his name in the series? I just call the, him Papa. Papa. That's yeah. what they called him. Okay. 
I feel like his, his like he, he didn't get much development, but he felt like super flat. But that's because we don't know about him. Yeah, and I don't know if we ever will. Yeah. To be honest, I think they wanted him to stay mysterious mm-hmm. and keep L mysterious. But you know? it, I think so. it came, like to me at least it came off less as mysterious and more as like he's boring. <laughs> yeah, I don't, know. I don't know. I don't know if other people feel the same way. Not really sure. I like they. I, I think my biggest problem with that whole thing was. Did they ever really talk about what he wanted to accomplish and do with all of this crap? They, like, not specifically. They always reference like, oh, they're going to use them to attack the Russians. Yeah. Like, a, like it just as like, just a passing by joke or something. It's like, I don't know. It was kind of yeah. just, mm, doesn't matter. Um, I mean, but we know we do know that he was doing experiments like that for yeah. years and years. Mm-hmm. So Yeah. It was just weird because um, there was a point where he said, like we're gonna make contact, and that's the time that she actually touched yeah. the thing. Yeah. But, um, you I don't know. You want to go into the other stuff because I think it. Well, do you, well first. Do you have anything that you thought they did poorly or that they could have done better? Uh, it's kind of hard to say. Some of the things, um, to say that I feel like I almost have to see more of their stuff in season two yeah um for reasons i'll talk about later um but i feel like there was like a lot of stuff that they did just so well Mm -hmm. that i was constantly looking at like oh this is like i don't know if you if you feel that way about games where like you'll be looking at like all the hype moments that you'll forget to look at yeah, the crappy they, stuff. They, they blind you. <laughs> so yeah. it's like, I feel like that happened. No, no, Jimmy. And I didn't rewatch it a second time. Yeah. Um, but people were telling me that they like notice more stuff. Like you always oh, do that. Course, you yeah, watch more course. stuff. Uh, I feel like if I watched it a second time with like the hype kind of being a little more dead, mm-hmm. I'd notice a lot more stuff that I didn't really like as much, things like that. Yeah. But yeah, it's kind of hard to say um, as far as things like, I don't know, like, inconsistencies or stupid stuff like that. Yeah. That, um, that's hard to say, like, what's inconsistent yeah. when we don't know what yeah, exactly. the future is yet. But um, um, I think we were talking before about, like, there were a couple things that seemed a little forced yes. or just out of place. Like, it seems like they were, like, I don't know, like, kind of just, like, how do we want to connect this? Or didn't think about connecting it or yeah. whatever. They were just, like, we need this to happen. Throw it in. Yeah. Like, boom. <laughs> uh, I think the main, like, the biggest... A moment of that was uh, I forget the na- I forget the episode, but it was when um, they were looking for L when yeah. she ran away after she hurt Lucas. Yeah, and uh, they were near the cliff, and those two like bully kids showed up with a knife yeah, like yeah. out of nowhere yeah. near the cliff. Yeah, and so that, I felt like that was super like forced conflict. And so and that, it felt, that's the only point that I felt like slight cringe. I was like, uh, yeah, what? Why are they here? <laughs> yeah, it was kind of weird. And I think they maybe, like, expected people to just, like, not care about it. Because yeah. it's like, oh, it's the 80s. <laughs> or whatever. People hang out by cliffs. <laughs> yeah. Or, you know, what What better, What better? are they going to do other than play outside? Yeah. Or maybe, like, uh, catch you off guard because these dudes have a knife and they're about to stab someone. I don't yeah. know. Maybe something like that. But I'm just thinking, I don't know, maybe they had to have a way to bring Elle back because she ran away. Why would she... Yeah, I just feel, I feel like they could have used, like, Hawkins yeah, something. in that instance. Because they obviously have, like, ways of tracking people down. Yeah. That is outside the realm of two, like, <laughs> 12-year-olds. Yeah. yeah I'm, I'm not really sure. I felt um, like, yeah. But uh, I, there was just, like, there was a couple things that uh, were maybe, like... Things that I could say, yeah, wasn't great or mm-hmm. wasn't done well. But there's a lot of things that, depending on where they go, could be great oh, or yeah. terrible. Oh, yeah, I agree. But so, I, I just think it's... it's Depending on the upside down yeah. and stuff like that. I just think it's important to also, like, say what, what they can improve on. We were talking about we were talking about the lights in the upside down. Yeah. Why were, why were there just some lights they were like street lights i mean stuff like that are i mean we don't know if, if i'm honest i think it's because they were filming at night and they needed they to light needed the a light yeah so like, we were we were we were talking about it and the only reason we could think of was that they needed light for the cameras to capture yeah. i mean as far as like and that's it both that's, of our theories that's are running all we as, know yeah but i mean no other lights were on anywhere yeah. else but those were like yeah. street lights and stuff like it was just weird um, to me, and I don't know if people really noticed or cared. I mean, we didn't notice until we watched but, that scene again. 
Well, I noticed there were lights. I didn't notice how many and yeah. that they were street lights. Like, all the street lights and then, like, lights from the bushes. Yeah. That was, like, it. Mm-hmm. That was, like, it. But, yeah, anyways. Um, I also want to be super nitpicky and say that they, like, to the casual viewer, they had, like, all these references, but they were super convenient like references yeah. that if you're fan like an actual fan like you know that it's not right yeah um and i can name a few like in the very beginning when you have the D D stuff mm. they they got some stuff wrong but i know they wanted to simplify it and i love that they included it and the, yeah. the kids used that as a way of explaining what was going on and i thought the whole theme of that was fantastic mm. but the demogorgon made me hurt inside every <laughs> time they said it because in D D. Uh, Demogorgon is the creature's name. It's not like a title or yeah. a, or something like that. Like you wouldn't call, I wouldn't call you the Nathaniel. Yeah, I would just call you Nathaniel. So every yeah. time they said the Demogorgon, I was like, uh, but but maybe they were just talking about it like it's a boss or like I don't know. Oh, you but, know, but like there's only one. Yeah, is, I know. Is the, I get what you're saying. He is the prince of demons. Yeah, the like one of the like in that in that. Uh, version of D&D, he was, like, the stre- second strongest monster mm-hmm. that had stats, like, officially. Yeah. Um, so that made me cringe a little bit every time. <laughs> but that wasn't... that. Was, I, like, I forgave him for, like, including D&D. Yeah. They also had <laughs> the Veil of Shadows. Yeah. Which is not a thing in yeah. D&D. That's <laughs> totally made up for the show. The only reference to Veil of Shadows is from a game called Icewind Dale, and that's like a, a game like Baldur's Gate, mm. and it's not related to what they were talking about. It's like a tomb area. Yeah. What they were actually referencing, which I don't know why they didn't use this term, maybe it's like copyrighted so they didn't use it, yeah. is, it's called Indeed. the Shadow Fell, and yeah. it's a shadow version of mm-hmm. the real material plane. Yeah. And I'm, I'm pretty sure, like you said, uh, for only the people who are actually fans and really mm-hmm. know will know about inconsistencies like that yeah and they will know oh well they probably just meant to do this or couldn't do that for this reason you know whatever Mm -hmm. so i don't know stuff like that can be forgiven i think but oh yeah yeah. i I just wanted to bring it up just just to like give my nitpicky yeah they did a good job on on what it it was supposed to i think i also saw because i'm not a fan of evil dead but i saw that uh jonathan's bedroom remember he had he had that poster yeah. and he's like <laughs> he was like tear it down or whatever yeah that poster for evil dead like when evil dead first came out it wasn't popular yeah it wasn't until many years later which is like many years after this yeah. is taking place that it became like a cult thing and that's when the po- posters became popular <laughs> so people were like he wouldn't have that poster he knew it before it was popular uh, okay he was one of those guys maybe i can't like because jonathan's weird <laughs> jonathan right? is weird he was one of those people and he had he had like dude he was on it with like those tapes man and yeah. everything like he he was into new media yeah you know? i feel like i feel like he would have had more photo style decorations in his room though yeah i didn't see a lot of like pictures in his room yeah, or anything i agree like considering he had like this nice camera mm-hmm. um yeah i agree I at got... least at least pictures taken from his camera yeah. especially if he's like oh i just like take like i don't remember what he said but he's like i like catching like people in like i don't know that in, moment in the moment in the moment and, like seeing just... what the picture says yeah yeah so i i feel like he definitely would have more of that mm. but uh what else is there we are going on Oh, I just wanted to, the last thing that I want to say that I thought they could have done better on is Barb's whole character. <laughs> I feel like, I, I feel like, it like, because it feels like it almost, like they had to cut her character to fit eight episodes. And that's what it feels like to me. But I don't know if that's true. I feel like they had to cut her character. I don't character. know. Like, they, they, I feel like they had to find a reason to get Nancy and Jonathan involved in yeah, the story. Together. And that felt like the most convenient way. Yeah, something. I don't know. I don't know. It just yeah. I I know what you mean though. Like, thinking of her, what her character was, uh, it was basically just something to get, I guess, taken. Someone to get taken so that Nancy would have like I don't know like, like a reason a, yeah a reason to, to go it, over to find and it. find it and yeah. check and all that stuff and for that relationship to build and for there to be conflict between. Jonathan and uh, Steve and all that junk. But what sucks, and, like, this is a problem with short form, like, short uh, seasons, is that we got no development of Barb. We got no attachment to her character. Yeah. Basically at all. So... 
I don't know. I felt like that that might be why I feel like the teenager storyline was a little weak. Yeah. Is because there was no attachment to the conflict going on there. I mean, I guess it wasn't there for Will either in the beginning. But yeah. then, like, we got to learn about Will through flashbacks and through his mother and brother. Mm -hmm. So... We yeah. didn't get that with Barb. We got, like, one phone yeah. call. But even and still... her mom wasn't I, concerned. Even <laughs> still, I feel like I don't really know Will. Like, I just don't. Yeah, and but we know... all the other... But we know the people who know Will. Yeah, yeah. And that, that's important. Like, that says stuff about him. Mm -hmm. We don't know the people that know Barb except for Nancy. <laughs> yeah. And she's a terrible friend. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's all we know. <laughs> uh, so, are we getting into the the real stuff? Yeah, we can get into the, the real stuff. The theories? Because this is... We're, we're getting... We're getting to be a little long here. Hey, man, so, it's a special. It's a special. So, theories. Or not so much theories, but food for thought, things like that. Yeah. Um, we're just going to basically be talking about just different things to think about and to notice. Mm -hmm. uh, so, I don't know. Do you want to go first or do you want me to go first? This is going to be... I mean, I can go first. Um, I mean, it's, not, it's less of a theory, but more of what I think... It really... Con just trying to explain stuff, like, or yeah. trying to figure some stuff out. It's mostly about the upside down, or yeah. the veil of shadows, or whatever you want to call it. The <laughs> other dimension, the shadow fell. We, let's um, call it the upside down the upside for down. this, because okay. that's what they go by. Yeah. So we'll call it that. It's basically what is that, and what does that mean for yeah. the next season? Yeah, um, and and also kind of like just uh, make like I, I guess making sure we're on the same page as everyone else and everyone's just on the same page as us yeah. about some of the minor details and things like that um, how some of the stuff works in between these right, places right. so uh, I don't know you can go first if you want I mean I feel like mine's really just the face value one that we got it's that it's an alternate dimension mm -hmm. um, that it's a shadowy like light well I can't say lifeless because uh, we, we came to the conclusion that we think that the whole world, like all the, all the slime, all the vi like weird fleshy vines, like all that is living material. Yeah, and that the world, the upside down itself, at least for me, is its own dimension, its own like being almost. And that it, um, I don't think the parasite, I guess, is what I'm gonna call it. Yeah, yeah. I don't think that's part of flowers, which yeah. is what I call him. Yeah. The monster. <laughs> I don't think that's part of flowers. The demigorgon. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. I think that's part of the world itself. So. And that he's like an agent of that world. Just, he, just a couple things. The thing that Will coughed out. Yes. The parasite, whatever. Mm -hmm. um, I wanted to note that when he coughed that out, yes. out it, he, it looked like he was expecting it. It looked like he's done it before. It, it looked like whenever he went, he was like, excuse me, I got to go to the bathroom. He went straight to the sink and he was there and he was just coughing at first, but he coughed out the thing and he was just like, kind of like a, why is this happening? Like, I don't know, kind of thing. And he kept it secret, things like that. I'm not saying that he, that it did happen other times. I'm just saying it could have. So I also think we, also, Will, we don't know about I also that. think Will is like a, he's like a to himself person. Yeah. And he's weird. Yeah. So... But just imagine, well, which is true, he could he could be keeping it from everyone. Yeah, just imagine if you put everyone through everything that they went through, and then you're back. Yeah. And then, like everyone's like happy and fine now, and then you do that. Do you like? Would you want to say something, or would you be like, "Oh, it's out now. Good, I'm fine." But then it keeps happening. I don't know. And then it's like, oh, why? Why don't you tell someone? Oh, well, it's already been so long. Uh, who knows? I'm. I feel fine. Things like I that. I was operating on the assumption mm -hmm. that he was like throwing it up and not coughing it up. Yeah. So I don't. I know. don't know. Either way, I'm just. I'm curious on if it's happened before or not. Yeah. I don't know, but it. It just. It looked a little bit like he knew, like something was going on, and then he did that, and he was just like, whoa, and then like flickered. Yeah. So that's kind of interesting. That too. is. A, that is very but. interesting. I do want to. I do want to say that I think. Like, the whole upside down is, like, an organic, mm -hmm. almost, like, I want to say plant life, but it's, like, a hybrid, like, yeah. a plant and which hunter. Yeah, which I will predator. say makes sense for it to be plant-like kind of a thing mm -hmm. because the, um, the... Because flowers has his petal flowers, face. Yeah, he, petal face. he has those, like, petals, and mm -hmm. they, the, I think the producers actually called them petals, like, mm -hmm. they wanted him to be, like, a plant like creature yeah so um yeah i could definitely agree mm -hmm. that that's all kind of like a plant life type of thing but, um 
Same. And also, uh, that's what I was talking about, is because the uh, the parasite, the whatever that larva-looking thing, it looked like it had seeds on it. Yeah. Like little tiny seeds on, like in the slime that was covering it. Yeah. Um, which I think it is something that wants to latch and grow. Cause yeah. well, I mean, maybe even spread spreading those seeds as it moves. Yeah. To like grow uh, like an area for it to thrive in. Yeah. Kind of deal. Which will also have more you know to yeah. keep growing mm -hmm. and going on and on you know um definitely something it, it wants to take over and spread mm -hmm. and all that junk uh i could agree with that though because yeah. that world definitely looked overgrown mm -hmm. like with whatever it was for sure and there was the whole the cocoon that was in the last episode um cocoon which we can get into my or egg or cocoon i mean cocoon, <laughs> like everyone says egg first Right? The, everyone assumes egg. Yeah. But we were thinking, what if it is a cocoon? But... I feel like... Well, for me, I feel like they could be almost the same thing. Yeah. Um, it really just... I don't know. It because just I, don't, I don't think it was turning people into monsters, mm -hmm. but I do think there's more than one. <laughs> yeah. I do think there's more than one. Yeah. But I don't think it's turning people. It was using them as a host. And then that whatever comes out of them, cocoons, yeah. turns into something bigger. Um, yeah, definitely could happen. I I personally don't know or care if there is more than one. Yeah. Um, I think it's definitely possible. I think it would be a little weird, but there were things that supported that theory. Yeah. Like the one that got burnt up in the hall had burn marks on it, but the one that was in the school mm -hmm. wasn't. Did burnt. not have burn marks. Not only that, but they followed the one that was in the hall to, to the, the library, library, and then at that same time, they popped out from like that thing in the popped school. out yeah. in the school so also that's weird. also they covered its foot with that freaking backpack the yeah. one that popped out in the school no i think it was a dead body but yeah oh, i thought it was a backpack <laughs> that might have been a dead body but whatever they covered its foot though yeah they made a they made a point to cover the foot that was caught in the bear trap yeah of that one i don't think they wanted to see the damage from the bear trap they wanted to keep it hidden yeah. like hey this is a new one yeah but the but later later on in they the school, show that one's feet. They show the one pushed yeah. up against the wall. That's what I think and it has its foot, but you were saying it looks. It was that that was the one that was burnt, mm -hmm. right? That one, so that, that one had burns that all one, over. That one's weird. That's what's weird to yeah. me. I don't know. It's kind of, and we don't know if these are inconsistencies or not. I, like if they just messed up on like the animation or if they did it. Yeah. But the covering the foot definitely yeah. looked. I I think there's two, man. At <laughs> least two. Yeah. Something. I um, I definitely wouldn't be surprised. Mm -hmm. Um. But I, I want to go back to uh, a couple things real quick. So, first off, I want to say that uh, earlier we talked about Papa, like, what he was trying to accomplish with mm -hmm. L doing this. And he was like, oh, L, we're going to make contact. Make contact. He could have, sure, been talking about, like, make contact with the Russians. Like, f figure out whatever you need to figure out. No, I mean, whatever. I but, definitely think he meant contact flowers in that instance. Okay, well. Because. Because she was scared. She, she told him there no, was something there. Well, and also right? because there was there was the flashback that happened before that one that showed her seeing it and yeah. she she came out of it. Yeah. So she's like, this time we're gonna contact it. Yeah. That's that's what I assumed. Yeah. So when she finally did touch touch him or mm -hmm. like with her mind or whatever. Yeah. He looked at her and like screamed like whatever. Like he didn't know we existed. Right. That he didn't know we were there. And now he did. And now it's like this new place. Whatever was there, he was, whenever she did touch him, he was like not eating. He may have been eating. I don't know. He could have been eating or putting that crap all over him, whatever, you know, yeah. to make them a host. Well, if that's what we're going it with. It depends on if it was a sentient creature that was depends. a host or if it was a, yeah. if it was like an animal. Because yeah. we know it hunts, it hunted it, it eats uh, animals. animals. Yeah. Because we saw so it eat the, the deer. deer. Yeah. So. But it was eating something or it was making something a host, mm -hmm. right? And then she touched it and then boom, it knew about us and it started coming into our world, yes. right? But whenever it came into our world, it, it would always, like, it would go back and then the portal, like, the gate thing would, like, close up. Yes. Right? The L, like, whenever she made contact with it, it opened that gate and that gate didn't close. That was the only one that didn't right. close. And that was because she made contact with it, I'm guessing. This is just the thought. Well, I mean, when we see her, because I think she went back with it at the end. Mm -hmm. That she didn't, like, deteriorate it or whatever. I think she, like, 
uh, opened a gate like inside the creature and sent both of them back. I think that somehow it's like when she contacted it, her ability to open like that gate kind of thing and its ability like kind of mingled and kind it made turn. a permanent gate. Yeah. Um, so I want I want to say though that gate was the only one though that we knew yeah, about that stayed, that stayed open. open. Not only that. It did heal itself, though. Like, it, it's still, like, after you go through it, it, like, reformed back yeah. to, like, its cocoon state. But it was growing out into our world more and more. Yeah. Every time we went back to that gate, it had spread more, mm -hmm. which supports the idea that it wants to grow out more, and it wants, like, the like those other things you were saying, where yeah. basically, like, it's a plant-like thing that'll grow, like, vines all over everything. Right. Um, I mean, like, my, my theory is that it's an alternate dimension that is lost, like, mm -hmm. sustainability, basically, right? Yeah. And so it sends these flowers out to find suitable, mm -hmm. uh, basically, like, uh, food sources. Mm -hmm. And then it, inf it, like, starts to infect that plane of existence. Yeah. So what I was thinking is... Not that I think this is how it happens mm -hmm. or what is going to happen or anything like that, but just like a thing to think about is it, like for if they take it this direction or if no one thought about it this way and didn't see it coming, I don't know. But what if that thing that he coughed up and that gate and that wild spread, all this would continue to happen and all this kind of stuff. That thing isn't dead or more will be created or whatever mm -hmm. because who knows, Will could be a host or, you know, something yeah. could create another one if we're going with the fact that there could I be mean, more. I, if yeah. if all of this happens, right, and that crap spreads all over this area, even all over the world, who even knows, mm -hmm. um, and those creatures exist, like what if that gate is actually to the future of mm -hmm. like it's – it's actually a future version of their world that they're in. That's been because consumed. Because that's been overgrown by everything, and, like, everyone has either been killed off or evacuated or whatever. Yeah. And that place is just, like, dead, like, right now. Yeah. All those kind of things. Mm. Um, so I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, what why I think that it's a possibility, why that's something. Because I'm not necessarily saying that's how it is yeah. or something, but... That why I think it would kind of fix a couple of holes and things like that. So, um, one is when things were like moving in, in their world, it wasn't moving in the other or, uh, it, it had, so in the upside down, for example, there was like Will's house. Let's go with that. Will's mm -hmm. house. And it, in at, like the real world, there was Will's house as well. However, in the, and at the time where in the real world they moved the bear trap into the house, yeah. in the upside down there was no bear trap. Right. It's like if that were the case where things didn't move at the same time kind mm -hmm. of a thing, then why would the house even exist in the first place? And you could say like, oh, this is what was created at the time of opening the gate or things like that. Mm -hmm. I don't know. You could say all kinds of things. Um, but just for me, like there wasn't. There wasn't Christmas lights. There wasn't bear trap, but there were burn marks. There were which we have so we have thoughts yeah, about. Yeah, yeah. There, but there was there was things kind of like showing that it was after, like the time after it fought, mm. like they fought it or after it was there. Mm. But it seemed like more of a time frame to me after the house had been cleaned up and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Like when you saw Will later on and will was like eating with him and everything obviously the house wasn't strung full of christmas lights right, and right. It, it didn't still have a bear trap in the hall you know they moved that stuff and they cleaned some stuff up and so like i'm just saying like what if mm -hmm. and that would kind of explain to me a lot of the things like that didn't make sense about the upside down right. and how something would be able to overgrow everything it's like how do you have a house there that is like the same time as the other dimension, right. but also be overgrown with something. It, it just didn't make sense to me, and like the time well, travel thing could. I just want to. I just want to break into. Because I want to go back to like what they used to to explain it to yeah. like. And that to like, yeah, and that's another about, thing. So um, from the teacher, right? 
Yeah, well, not not from the teacher. I want to talk about the Shadowfell, like as oh, okay. a, as from like the D and D perspective. Oh, oh, real quick, real quick. So the shadow felt thing. Yeah, that's what's weird is I don't know if they were screwing with us or if they were trying to keep something secret or if they were actually going with that and everything I'm saying is a lie and not true yeah. or like not even a possibility. But the upside down, we only saw it when it was dark. Yeah. Does it have a sun? Is it like our world, or is it is it his own little thing? Is yeah, it, have, it has its own little life. We talk about it's the all shadow. shadow. All right, go for all it. All right, because. Because the shadow fell isn't, uh, it's not a mirror. It's yeah. not intended to be a mirror. It's never going to be like, move something here, move something there. Like, mm-hmm. it's not, it's not, it, it doesn't work like that. It's a, hmm, I don't even know how to like, like the perfect example, but think of it like, uh, if, if they both started at the same point, yeah. but one world got consumed by this or like this organic material and was different. And that, like, forever forward, like, they're not going to be following the same path. You know what I mean? Um, Like, this is going to do different things in this world. Uh, So it's like like a diverging uh, path. A fork in the road, basically. So the Shadowfell is, like, organic, corrupted shadow that has infected, like, the land. Mm -hmm. Um, Similar to how, like, this organic plant, whatever material has infected this land, taken it over. Um... But it, it's a, it's not a mirror, but it's a, ooh, it's like, more like a brother, I yeah. guess. It's like, they're similar, but they're not identical. Yeah. And, and, and not what happens here happens there. Mm-hmm. Like, they have their own spaces of existence. Um, so it, it, I don't know, like, in, in D&D, like, there could be uh, two cities that are the same, but one is, like, corrupted and, like, different. Like, there's different people living there. They're not mirrors of the other people. Yeah. Or something could have happened in this world that didn't happen over here, and so now this city is, like, a hole in the ground. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Um, so you can have, like, varying degrees of, like, opposites or mm-hmm. similarities or comparisons, but I don't think... Like, I personally don't think... Uh, that they're going to go into time travel. Cause yeah. I feel like that would be too easy to make mistakes. S- super complicated. Yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. Um, but I'm not saying like, I would be interested. Yeah. Like, I think, I think it would be cool if they pulled it off. Right. But yeah. I just feel like that would make it too complicated for yeah. people to watch. Like I said, personally, I, I, I m- more feel on the side that they're not going right. to do time travel, but I'm just saying if they did all of this, keeping it secret mm-hmm. and, catching everyone off guard that they were going to go into time travel. Yeah. I feel like they could almost pull off time travel. Yeah. <laughs> if they, no, I agree. If they could do everything that well. Yeah, I agree. Like, maybe they can. Maybe they thought of everything, mm-hmm. you know. Uh, but, it, I mean, no matter what, you're going to have holes in either one of these theories. For sure. Um, I was just sitting there, like, for a while, like, just trying to think of, like, what could make this make sense? Because mm-hmm. I was kind of like, I don't know, it's kind of dumb, you know, that they ha- that things exist in this world from the other but it's not mm-hmm. constantly, you know, how how does that make sense at all kind well, of yeah. thing. But, you know, it, they, there's there's different explanations. There's different yeah. things that we can make happen. Um, and I think, I think for me, it's easy for me to connect to, like, the kid's perspective because mm-hmm. I, I do play D&D. Mm-hmm. And, like, that explanation is what I hooked onto. Mm-hmm. So it's like that's just what I assumed it was. So I didn't even yeah. go to time travel or whatever, yeah. uh, any other explanation. Um, but if they stick to the Shadowfell explanation... Um, then I don't like, it's just, it, they're, they are, um, they're not copies of each other. They don't mirror each other, but they're like, their base sculpture is the same. Yeah. If that makes sense. Yeah. And so, I don't know. I think we've kind of, there's still obviously a lot more that we could talk about. Mm -hmm. Um, and we can also discuss in comments. Yeah. So, so yeah, I don't, I just don't want this to keep going on forever. A couple more things is. Uh, there's things, like I said, there's multiple things that we don't know if they did once or if they did multiple times. Right. We don't know if the, the egos that, that, uh, Hopper left in that box, if he'd mainly been because giving they skipped it to the her. Whole month. Yeah. <laughs> we don't know they, if they skipped a whole month. We don't know we if don't they, know. he'd been doing that the whole month or if that was the first time yeah. he's been doing that. Yeah. We have uh. no clue. And we have no clue what he talked with from those, those people when he right. got in that car. Like they had that deal. He was like stay out of it this is my thing he had his deal with them mm-hmm. we don't know what happened but then he started giving her egos 
you know. And for that same reason, we don't know if that's the first time Will coughed up one of those things. Yeah. Or if it's been happening. Multiple times. Multiple times. Uh, yeah, it's just kind of crazy. Um, yeah. But uh, I basically, to sum this up, to finish this all up, we came to the bottom line that we don't really know what it is exactly. Mm. Like, we, we have our ideas more of what we actually think it is and then ideas of kind of like oh this is this something would, that could happen it'll be that cool it could to see. go yeah yeah um and then either way they're dealing with the same thing exactly this thing could pop out of anywhere at any moment and the, the, snatch someone up <laughs> the upside down is still trying to consume yeah. our world yeah uh, either so, way if it's the future or if yeah. it's just an alternate so whether dimension. whether or not l opened up this loop of her connecting with this the flower <laughs> from the future oh, it, and flowers it's just flowers That's his name. and it's just a constant loop of him coming back in time to mm -hmm. a time where he had everything before everyone evacuated and yeah. everything had grown over where he can eat deer again as he pleases and stuff like that or if it's like uh the like they're trying to portray where it's just like that fork in the road kind of a thing and it's it's just an alternate but like different version mm -hmm. of similar, our dimension similar but very twisted yeah <laughs> either way he can still pop yeah. out and he can still do what he wants still you know he still he has i think the same goal you yeah. know overall and we still know nothing mm -hmm. so season two i think they said that they are planning on uh, covering more of or exploring more of what the upside down actually is, yeah. and uh, I'm excited because we'll be learning more about Will mm -hmm. and things like that. Um, Hopefully, this time we have Eleven and Will who like have abilities yeah. to combat flowers. Yeah, yeah. which would be amazing. Uh, if if Will is not completely converted into a host, but he's taken some of the abilities mm -hmm. and he still has himself. Super excited. Yeah, but. Final thing, real, legit, the biggest question, What's Team that? Steve or Team Jonathan? I'm a legit Team Steve. I'm legit Team Jonathan, yeah, dude. We are, dude. We are always just always. opposites. Mm. Can't, can't believe it. All right, it. Team Jonathan, baby. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed. Please, please talk to us about what you think yeah. uh, and about, I guess, just what you thought about the things that we're just bringing to the table uh, to think about, it's just food for thought. Yeah. Um, and just let us know if you think that, you know, we're dumb and we're both, like, our ideas are just completely stupid. Yeah, or if you <laughs> thought we had some merit. Or you're like, oh, or I didn't think, even think about that, but that's not true at all. Yeah. Or, oh. Or if you think Flowers is a great name simple. for the monster. Yeah, Flowers is a great I love name. it. You don't I even have it. to tell us, we know. Yeah. <laughs> but we'll and catch And if you. you're hashtag Team Steve or Team Jonathan. Yeah, Team Jonathan. Only only say it if you're Team Jonathan. Though. Also, we're selling so. shirts. Yeah, buy our shirts. Buy our shirts. <laughs> Bye, Bye, guys. guys.